All teams move in, secure the HVT. Area secure. HVT located. Mission accomplished. Uh, hey, what's up everyone? It's the Good Sir Knight. Today, with Oso, we're going to be reviewing the friggin' Ordnance Tactical. What should we call it? The Cobra! The Cobra. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's get these off real quick here. Oh my god. Oh, this is the downside of doing a skit when you don't want to edit the video. Sure. Ah! Ah! Do you need help, good sir, knight? It's, it's too late to help me. Okay. You can't help me in any way that matters. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Ah, if only I knew my kit! <laughs> I, uh, I throw my kit on. If only I wasn't just a dirty influencer! Yeah, I only throw my kit on just because it looks cool. I don't know my kit. Uh, it was good. <laughs> ballistic performance, never heard of it. No. No. Alright, where was I? Yeah, crack open the LaCroix with your boy. Oh, this is harder in gloves than I thought it would be. Yeah. What flavor is that? Coconut? Yeah, hey, coconut, best flavor. I should probably turn on the light. Have yeah, some absolutely. level of professionalism going on here. Absolutely. Crack open LaCroix with your boy. It's the Good Sir Knight here today with Oso viewing the Ordnance Tactical freaking Cobra plate carrier. Yep. So Ordnance Tactical, I didn't hear about them until like 2016. They've been around longer, but that was yeah. around the year my buddy was like, you should get an Instagram. It was just to post really, really stupid memes you make. And I was like, that sounds like a cool idea. And then all the Hanson and Schwab guys were getting posted up there, tagged with, hey, check out this uh, cool modified plate carrier and stuff I got from Ordnance Tactical. I was like, hmm, interesting. And then a bunch of the Airsoft kids were talking about <laughs> how cool they were. Like, yeah, I got this custom grenade pistol holder thing from Ordnance Tactical. They'll sew anything you want. It's like, all right, cool, pretty neat. Um, let's, so let's actually take a look at what they got going on. I'll let you do your intro and everything. Yeah, so hey, my name is Oso. I'm a Marine with the VMM-265 here on island. I have been here for about two years, and uh, I have been wearing this plate care for about the same two years. And honestly, I have nothing to say other than good things about this plate care. Uh, it's, this is not how it looks like when I first got it. We what, we this also, about, this this also isn't, isn't our first it isn't recording. Our first recording. I was going to say, like the first time, you probably won't see the first time, but since the first time that we recorded this episode, this did not look like this. Like, I completely have fixed, or more like Ordnance Tactical has completely fixed the comfort issues. Uh, and I'm ex completely excited to tell you guys what is all about this uh, plate carrier. No one said stop. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm joking. Right, no, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanted to... I forgot to turn the radios and stuff off. Yeah, so anyway, for comparative purposes, I am wearing the Cry AVS, which, again, has modified itself significantly, moving down the harness size of the video I uploaded yesterday. Yeah, it wasn't all that long ago. So obviously this is more of the harness sort of structured setup, whereas he's running the sandwich setup. He's yeah. No fancy structural support. No. Hardcore. But, um, I'm not elderly. Elderly, he needs the back support. I'm still 27-ish. So. Our packs were in Marpat when I was still in. <laughs> I'm not, trying not to dox myself, but I'm not that uh, not that uh, old, not that young. So, yeah. But were you around for Super Mario Brothers 3? Uh, the Marine Corps has definitely aged me quite a bit in the last three years that I've been in. Controllers had more than three buttons when he started oh, gaming. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, actually, you know why? Yeah, we'll take a Genesis. <laughs> All right, so what is there to talk about about the Ordnance plate carrier? Well, outside of them making some really cool gear, as you can see, he's got stuff. So start with the front plate bag. He's got a built-in triple magazine open top pouch. Not bad. Did you ever get that bungee thing fixed? Yeah, the well, bungees are still really, really stiff on there. Yeah, so um, so originally when we first uh, talked about this uh, plate here, I made a complaint about this being uh, extremely stiff. Now, I've communicated this over to the uh, um, to Ordnance Tactical, and they have actually made changes in their in their model. They have. Uh, why I haven't gone to <laughs> taking this in to go get it fixed? Um, laziness. Yeah, additionally, I literally have Looser bungees you can yes. throw in there, right? Uh, now. Yeah. Laziness. So how's, uh, how's that fit with uh, M4 mag? Right so now, right, M4 mag, standard 5.56. Five, um, so throw that in here. I'm gonna throw that all the way down. And as you can see, it, it takes a little bit for me to 
you know, it's, pull it's, that over and it's, under. It's not right, going cool, nowhere. Right. So it's if I, yeah, no, hundred percent. Like if I'm, if I'm running and gunning, right, and I need, to, and I need to know that <laughs> that my mags are still there. I know for a fact that these mags are still there. These are not going so, anywhere. So retention wise, generally the retention levels are just. You start with the uh, flaps, classic Velcro flap sort of setup is generally considered one of the highest retention. The bungees are kind of like right immediately behind that because yeah. it's not going anywhere. And if you need your mag ready to go on the spot, then you just kind of have yeah. it ready like that. Yeah. More chance to fall out, but if you need it quick, fast, and in a hurry, it's already preset and ready to go. Sure. And also, uh, so me personally, I'm an AK guy. I'm an AK guy first, uh, and then an AR guy second. Um, you know, I, I, I can I can do the same thing uh, with this plate carrier with the with the 762 banana clip or banana clip. Oh, oh he's, to me. he's you know you've cursed the whole video. Yeah, the comment sections already yelling. That's not a banana clip. That's all right. It's not a it's clip. Not a clip. It's not a Okay. Whoa, boomer. I'm just kidding. No, just... Um, but honestly, so if I wanted to, now that's gonna snap me and hit me in the face. I already know. I can feel it. I can feel it coming. But you know, honestly, the same thing. I can still do it. And uh, now I can't stack three seven six two back with an anime. Yeah, no, not at all. You gotta have faith, man. Uh, you see, you put the nub in there, and that's oh. where you made your first mistake. Yeah. It's upside down. Uh, uh, but yeah. so if um, also made better life decisions, he would have set his up like this. Uh, It'll work, trust me. I'm still a junior marine at heart. We all are. <laughs> Lance Corporal don't know. Lance Corporal right now. Hey, I think you got two of them. That's fine. Yeah, no, that's a lot better. And, and I could probably throw a, a third one in there. And just check this out. It actually comes out now. Oh, kind of. And true. Snack in the chin. Yeah, so nub, cool. Um, so I'm actually going to put this right here. Oh, off handed reload. Yeah, so what you got, well, so that's it. This is uh, pretty much affixed in there. He can't swap his out. Like the adjustable vest system. Not at all. However, but, however, we're in tactical, I did sew this all by hand from scratch. So if he was like, hey, could you modify this? Like, I have like the free Velcro. Make my JPC 1.0 into a JPC 2.0. They'd be like, yeah, sounds groovy. Let's yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. I, I'm actually, just now, uh, they just contacted me about. Um, 762 mags uh, that I've been wanting to get from them, and they're like, "Hey, what color?" I'm like, "Oh, that was fast." <laughs> so, the mags, not the pouches. Yeah. Oh well. Um, the 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 they're like the fast ones, like the ones oh, okay, that you okay. just throw, throw them on your belt. And I mean, I'm I'm trying to carry things a little bit more on my sides, more uh, to adopt a more of a. So, uh, me personally, I adopt more of a like a smirch. Uh, what the Russians wear is like a load bearing. Uh, vest oh, uh, where they have most of their uh, ammo on the sides so that's the kind of uh, way that I'm moving plate, my plate carrier and my, my setup uh, is going it's towards the sides as you can see that's why I have like the elastic right here and it still has the opportunity to put magazines on the sides so that's just me personally so I, I like it it's not for everybody train the way that you're supposed to train train the way that you are gonna fight and make it work for you so what if you get negative comments on uh, Instagram? Oh no! Well, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately for the people that give me negative comments on Instagram, right? Um, I don't really don't care about their opinion. My biggest thing is uh, what, what I share on social media is what works for me, uh, and just get the creative juices flowing for somebody else that's trying to do something different. And then, uh, well, I mean, if somebody disagrees with me, hey, that's part of uh, being on social media. It's it's okay to disagree. So. Ban user from ban channel. Users, <laughs> temporary ban. Nah, so. He said racial slurs. So he's also got the elastic arm. He's swapped out the cover buns. And uh, the cover bun has a unique way of sitting on the plate carrier. Now, it's even different now from before. Oh, yeah. The reason we had to scrap the first video is because he's got his cool Haley Strategic Wings set up for you. Sure. Flat pack on back here. But what we didn't uh, really bother to investigate was how it was attached. And he had. But they have two straps. Of, uh, it's just straight up like fabric, so not nylon webbing, but uh, just your normal sort of like uh, oh, your magazine little um, attachment points. Basically, two of those off on the sides held the cover button in place. Yep. However, somehow the mounting points got uh, freaking looped through all of the material, so the bungee cord that was supposed to, you know, allow you to breathe in your kit 
Was it Landon Breathe in his no, kit? No, I, I had a, I definitely had a, uh, you know, I'm, I'm wearing, I'm wearing sappies. I'm wearing the SIP gear uh, issue sappies, the ones that are rated for whatever they're actually rated for. I don't really care. Um, but you know, honestly, th I mean, this is this is heavy. This is heavy, and that's heavy in the back. And um, you know, movement, movement on movement with plate carrier. Oh, on a plate carrier with plates. Uh, I'm not saying that it should be comfortable. This is not a. No, there's this no. Is a, there's no. This is just thing as actual comfortable. There's just less uncomfortable. But this is is bearable. I wanted to make it uh, that if I'm going to be wearing this uh, for a longer period of time. I need to, I need it to be bear, uh, bearable for me, right? Other people have different uh, levels of tolerances yeah. for uh, for what they can carry. I'm not a I'm not an infantry guy. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat that I'm not an infantry guy. I'm not high speed, not at all. I'm just a regular guy who loves guns, loves tactics, loves weapons, like, and I just bullets I'm trying to I, I'm just trying, ballistics. Yeah, bullets just, don't bullets don't <laughs> fly without supply. <laughs> <not joking>. Bull. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just an air wing guy that's just trying to, you know, use my God-given rights to uh, to uh, defend my freedoms. Speaking of supply, did you know that uh, APCs in a 40-mile convoy don't move without gasoline? Wild, well, we, right? I guess we're finding <laughs> out why supply. Why you don't mess with your supply guys, right? Because those guys out in... Was it, or in, do basic vehicle maintenance every Yeah, month. yeah. Guys out in Russia are figuring that out really hard. So... Ugh. So yeah, what else do you got going on? So he's got his uh, admin pouch up here as well. Yeah. Mine's got an aftermarket zipper. His came built in, right? Yeah, mine's built in. And yeah, I still got the same Velcro setup. Yeah. Yeah, it still got the same Velcro setup, and it actually has a Molly system. I'll actually, come up. With oh, a yeah, he's got the he's got the elastic bands in there. Yeah. As well. So it's if easy. I wanted to do, um, how many do you got? Like three? I got three. I got three. What do I got? Yeah, I think I got. One, two, three. Yeah, I got I'm three put, as well. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, in, for future reference, I'm gonna just say, I'm gonna So what do, you, what do you got in there, anyway? Me, personally, right now, uh, I usually carry my phone. I, I carry my phone in you here. You got range cards. You've got medevac request. You got our tactical combat casualty care, TCCC card. What else do we got? We got our freaking... Surprise, you don't have anything in there. For right now, it, this has been in a construction. For, we got uh, a right in the rain little booklet. We got our emergency sharpie. I'm not gonna pull everything out. There's a sharpie in there. There's a right in the rain. So you're a little more prepared than I am. Absolutely. Now I'm trying to be. That's in. Say I don't know all those things, whereas uh, you do, and I'm trying to learn from uh, learn from people like you. Mm -hmm. Where uh, always learning. Yeah. No. Um. A lot. So the biggest biggest fault and uh, there is Mori coin. Oh man. Can you imagine? Like, we got our Jesus <laughs> save me ring. Yeah, it's one of the moments for when you know you're under indirect fire. Well, there's no atheist in a foxhole. No, absolutely <laughs> not. Absolutely not. No, so the biggest thing is like a lot of people that are falling the trap of what is gun culture. Uh, gun, gun oh, culture yeah, 2.0, right? Um, gun culture 2.0. So things. bad things happen when you don't gatekeep. That's the key to Yeah, go. sure. No, biggest thing is, biggest thing is like, a lot of people love to look cool, right? We plan, we've been watching, uh, we all grew up with what? Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I wouldn't say grew up. I was already a man with Modern well, Warfare 2. Well, true, yeah. No, yeah. So but a lot of guys like my age, right, that are in the 27, that I just had gone through middle school, high school. I mean, I've gone through college, right? And a lot of these guys are grew up on Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare yeah. 3, Black Ops, right? Battlefield. Um, those, those games are absolutely wonderful and exposing um, what is gun culture not really but what guns are and that they are somewhat a normal thing all across the world however there's a there's a false pretense to it where mm -hmm. soap captain price <laughs> ghost and any of those characters are exactly that characters mm -hmm. and and they look cool and as much as those guys would, uh, as much as you would love for those guys to exist, they don't. They don't. People like that don't actually exist in this world. Where yeah, no, no. no, not really. And and so like people need to understand that a this lot, is to save your life. A lot of a lot of the cool dudes you're gonna meet are older, and they've been through yeah. the whole world. They go, hey, what? How'd you how'd you get through all that stuff? They're like, man, I don't. I was just that. really really lucky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They don't. Want everyone to else, that. nope. They got the yeah, they got the wrong order. Yeah, no. And, and and so the biggest thing is like, guys, this this. This is not to look cool. As much as looking cool is is awesome, I I love to. I look, I think your your setup looks absolutely amazing. It looks cool, awesome. 
But this is to save your life. Yeah, ultimately. Yeah. <laughs> this is to save your life, and this is what you were saying that this is a setup for a recce. A recce well, build. Well, a recce or something. Yeah, yeah, a recce yeah, yeah. build. And this is me, I, me personally, this is set up for force on force confrontation. Like yeah. if I'm. If I'm playing yourself. Playing yourself, <laughs> yeah, for right now. Like that's what, what I'm doing, right? Because that's the only kind of training that I get force on force or get it behind a rifle, right? Yeah, yeah. So. I got, I got lied to early into my enlistment. Like within the first few months in the fleet, they're like, hey, we're going to go to Camp Schwab and we're going to shoot each other with sim rounds for several Ooh. days. And I was like, yeah, this is great. This is an enlistment. Let's do this. And then it was just a constantly downhill oh, for the next I can three only imagine. years. Sim, sim rounds. <laughs> Well, it, was so, it, it was so good, dude. Yeah. Of course, everyone's mag had like five sim rounds max, and like, yeah, if your buddy gets capped, take his ammo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can't uh, afford yeah. to train much more. The sim rounds are expensive, and they hurt. So it's, well, It wasn't so bad. No worse than paintball. No worse? No, really? but, we, but we had like the full, they gave us all paintball masks and okay. stuff to wear the helmets. And this was back when I was still blind and had big old BCGs and other things. Oh so yeah, breath control glasses. I was basically walking through Silent Hill the entire time. <laughs> I couldn't see anything. It sure. was just, so, it was know, hot too. It was, it was an Okinawa summer, so sure. it was sure. steamed up. So, so speaking of saving your life, right? Yeah. How does, how does this play carrier compare to this one? when trying to save your life. Because I can tell oh, you... outside of just financially? <laughs> no, outside of just financially. Again, how much did your play carrier cost? So, mine... With all your modifications and um, stuff going right now. We're going right now... 400 bucks. Well, that's not bad. Uh, relative so that's 400, with the discount, right? 400, yes. <laughs> that's with the military discount. Ordnance Stack will go hooks it up for, for us in the military, not just, not just Marines, not just Army, Air Force, Navy, whoever wants to play carrier out here, and... Space Force. And then... <laughs> Yeah, Space Rangers, <laughs> um, Buzz Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. and uh, the JS, I can't say it right, any or ever, it's the Japanese Self-Defense Ground Force. Also known as the GA Dive. Yeah, them. So, uh, anybody, <laughs> anybody that, that is of military background, um, yeah, they, great discount, honestly, genuinely. Uh, Imagine being Space Rangers over Space Marines! Well, I can't, I can't wait to see... Do you play Warhammer 40k? I wish, I wish, but I do respect Warhammer 40k quite a bit. A lot, actually. I do remember the meme more that went down in the chat. <laughs> yes, I regret Why it. What are you guys talking I about? I completely regret it sometimes because those guys went really ham. Now, okay, so we were talking about some sim rounds, right? And I'm talking when about we're supposed now, to be discussing when, the play game. When we're yeah. talking about freaking survivability, right? Yeah. So, um, me did personally. You, did you ever wear the Interceptor play carrier? Never. All right, yeah, so I'm <laughs> going to be getting older every year. <laughs> yeah, no, never. Absolutely not. So, I, so, wait, is that the ITV? No, that's the one, no, that's the one that folds over the front. Yeah, that's the one that happens. That's just the SIF gear. No, oh, they're still, I thought they could have an ITV. So, really? Yeah. Good yeah. old Marine Corps, I'm not surprised. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, um. All right. Let's say we're taking rounds, right? I'm saying this is this is my this is mine. Uh, my kit for that is a little bit different from from him from his about what he's doing. I'm doing direct direct action. I want direct confrontation. I don't want a direct confrontation. No, you but in the event, that. this is this is what this is for for direct confrontation, right? Right. Somebody's knocking down my door. No, that's not a realistic situation. All right. So. Um, they're already in my house. Where's yeah, my they're already in my here? house. No, if they're already here? in your house, you gotta be here. Yeah, no. So, all right. So I'm taking taking fire, right? I get snagged because I'm dumb and I put myself a little bit too high, right? So I one if I wanted to if I get caught in the plate, it'd be one or two times, right? These are not metal plates. Don't buy metal plates. Don't buy metal plates. Don't buy metal plates because spa will burn a hole through you. Anyway, so these are sappies. They're gonna fragment. They're gonna break apart. They're you're gonna you're gonna feel it, right? Uh, I take the second hit, right? They do two to the chest like we we're supposed to. Uh, I need to get out of this play carrier, right? This play carrier, I've designed it, or not? I designed it. I have made it <laughs> the way for it to be survivable, right? I need to get out of this play carrier. So you yeah, have medical treatment, make sure it doesn't medical have treatment, a right? not a sucking chest wound. Uh, you probably won't have that. You would have a uh, what's it called? The um... What's the other one? Not the second chest bone, the uh, pneumothorax. There we go. Get yeah. Air and blood in your lung. Yeah. Cavity. No, you're going to have you, that. From impact, you can get that. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. 100%. That's why you don't get metal plates. Anyway. Um, well, metal plates, you'd have all that spalling in your head. And yeah. Yeah. You're gonna... the, your plates need to catch the round, not 
shatter the round into a million sharp, deadly pieces of metal. No. So, it's a survivability, right? Uh, something that I love about Orange Tactical is the Cobra Clip. Um, Cobra Clip is not extremely common. Uh, Don't you mean Cobra Magazine? Yeah, sure. <laughs> the, the, the Cobra Clip has... Wow. Okay, yeah. You got it? <laughs> yeah. The Cobra Clip is absolutely one of the best things that I I, I found, uh, as in uh, for play carriers, they are absolutely wonderful, right? It's easy. The Medic, the Corman, whoever's the, the PJ, Air Force. Your local Burger King. Yeah, your local uh, Burger King your chef. Lo local, no, your local Burger King <laughs> manager, yeah. who just happens to have a lot of free time to go to the range. A lot of free time. He's like, oh, snap. <laughs> yeah, so hey, he hits this. He hits this, 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 this thing. Nope. Oh! And it's no, out. I'm not getting the deposit back for that. No, no sorry. I apologize. <laughs> All right, so, and I'm out completely. I'm out of it completely, really quickly, and um, that's that's how I increase my survivability. And you're gonna talk about how how have you set up yours for when well, I'm, not, I'm not actually gonna Reiki. do it. I didn't you don't eat. no, don't do it. Because <laughs> putting that freaking uh, was it the pull tab is gonna be such a huge pain. No, oh, right no. underneath my uh, cobra buckle, which is aftermarket. Yeah. By A and A Tactical is this is AXL. This one, this guy, you pop this guy open, and as you can see, there's the uh, black oh, dear. tab right under there. I'm so sorry. That's alright. Pull that, it really moves the cover button, cover button pops free from the back, and then the whole thing slides out, so. It's a huge pain though, such a pain. But it's supposed to save your life. Now, yeah, it's the same, the same thing, concept, yeah. Yeah, same concept. Uh, and people don't think about that, honestly, actually. I think that this, the big thing is like, oh, it looks cool, right? Yeah. Well, you're wearing gear that needs to save your life. This isn't. <laughs> this it's, is. It's not fashion. It's not fashion, it's, it's, the, it's so that you can go home. To your family, right? Uh, you gotta keep in mind uh, two things: how much you can carry, and how much and how easy it is to get out of your gear to ditch it, right? Whether you're gonna, whether you're wearing this in the back of a Huey and it goes down, or maybe you get caught, you kind of in a firefight and you get get snagged, or well, maybe most, you're done most, in patrol. Most common, maybe you made the mistake of living in a city and suddenly very peaceful protesters that decided they want to burn down your household yeah no yeah so <laughs> yeah and that's a very real thing we're we're seeing that more and more um and that's why i think well, like a lot of people are moving towards gameplay gears and yeah stuff so and it, it's very take, take, it should be taken very seriously it is up until 2019 when those peaceful protests started getting well i would say up until harambe passed away yeah everything when just, everything went downhill Everything went down after Harambe died. Why did I lose my Harambe patch? Oh well. So you know, uh, it it was uh, is a recent thing. It really is. Where civilians have seen, uh, sorry, civilians um, have uh, not and not just veteran civilians, guys that are that don't care everyday that, dudes, yeah. everyday dudes that are don't really care about guns. They they're like, oh, I'm really uh, one one year, maybe a couple years ago, you say, oh, yes. they do not like guns, right? There are there's the, 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 several the, mental traps you can fall into just yeah, getting into no, gear. Absolutely. And there's and people who will buy cheap helmets and everything off of the internet just because they don't know about They'll buy metal plates because, oh, well, multi-hit capacity, yeah, I don't need to learn the rest about physics or anything. Sure, yeah. But, no, and then, and as long as we're making my comment section obnoxiously long. <laughs> 100%. No, biggest thing is, like, all right, uh, like, a lot of these people are figuring out that, hey, maybe, maybe I do need a gun. And maybe these riots mm -hmm. are dangerous. Maybe... Somebody's gonna get into my home. Your gear is, is meant to save your life. Like, and I know it sounds like a broken record, but this is investing your stuff. Like, this is not. It's not just a rifle. It's about what you. It's about what you're prepared with. And this is this is all about preparedness. So. Yeah, I still need to finish my video on like a tier list of where you should start building up. Because yeah. first and foremost, probably medical. Hundred percent medical supplies. Medical. Medical supplies, firearm, the plate carrier is actually pretty late stage. Because yeah. you can get really far with a chest rig with all your medical supplies on there. Yeah. First and foremost. So, let's keep, <laughs> keep on getting off topic. for the Yeah, well, we'll eventually talk about the plate carrier. So. Yeah, sure. Alright, so, um... Go ahead. Well, I thought okay, you were... never mind. So, um, <laughs> so from, from the first part, right? So, I was, we were talking about earlier, um, how I had a breathing issue. Um, now, whether that's me being overweight, I'm not actually overweight, just a little bit of a more huskier guy, right? 200 pounds. Um, 
there's guys that are much slimmer than I am, right? Uh, but the, the, the whole pro the whole idea is is for um, you to be able to function in your plate carrier. So I do run, I do I do um, fitness and all that other stuff to keep myself in shape. However, um, that can only go so far uh, when it comes to your kit, because your kit can restrict quite a bit of your phys uh, quite a bit of your physique. So yeah, if you don't have a good fit on your kit, it's gonna hinder you more than it's gonna help. Yeah, you. and it did, and it did 100. percent I would I would overheat, and you'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah, yeah, and having your uh, rear plate as low as it was in the first video, that's gonna cause a lot of back strains that burn you out quick. Extremely, I, I feel so much better now. Uh, I I went ahead and I instead of having the uh, the uh, three bone, let's uh, say like, we'll call it bone, um, like what kind of stuff like, I got going on, yeah, like a Molly thing, right? And now I go with the elastic, and this elastic has absolutely revolutionized the way that I can breathe. Until you dropped my AK bag on the floor. Until I dropped the AK bag, and then I was all out the window. And then now there's no deposit on this floor. So biggest thing, right? I can still I have the elastic, and yes, there's a single buckle. Mm -hmm. That's not the more that's not the normal thing. Um, we're also I wrong. can still I can still put a magazine, two magazines on the side, and I can still throw some more on this side too. And I absolutely am a hundred percent super comfortable. Yeah. Well, not super comfortable. It's much more of a more of a bearable thing. Yeah. Thing. And much as like we were talking about with the uh, retention levels, the elastic's definitely on the lower end. So that's lower the first end. mags he's gonna want to burn through. Yeah, hundred percent. And and that is actually true. And, yes. And like you said, you are going more for the uh, Russian setup because yeah. more on the U.S. Cool, fast, neat guys. You have your fast mag is basically just back here. Yep. And that's it. So everything's on your belt line for the most part. Extra mags to replenish from the front up here. And yeah, I so. usually so when I when I run uh, when I do anything like uh, male sim wise, right? So biggest thing um, when I when I and I'm usually running an AK. I do run from 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 here, and I, I usually run from the back forward. That's why I don't. You don't see me ever really running uh, pl uh, magazines towards the front. Now, um, this plate carrier is extremely good when it comes to actually putting your uh, putting your uh, rifle onto your shoulder. So that's something that a lot of people don't think about: is what kind of rifle do I use? What kind of rifle am I using? What kind of rifle do I use on a regular basis? Right. So I use the standard AKM. Right. The most common weapon in the world is the AKM. Right. And that's my weapon of choice, right? So I myself um, find myself always being able to shoulder it just fine, being able to use the same cheek well thing, no problem. And it and I'm and I have it in there. Like it's not that I'm forcing it on camera right now for you. Now this is naturally where I'm at with all my gear, all the stuff. I can sight down. And this is not how my AKM look, uh, looks like just now. Uh, nah, anymore. you can sign and bring their AKM today. So <laughs> yeah. Like, mine. So, uh, but mine has a, a little even, even thinner, right? It's like a MCX stock yeah. where I can fold it. I can shoulder this weapon while a lot of the play carriers that you get in the Marine Corps, you're like up here and you're running and yeah, you're just like so not really conducive to shooting. Talking back, about, shooting. Talking back <laughs> about the interceptors and everything, one of the big things we had was literally a stock pad that mounted into your plate carrier off into the side here. That's crazy. So you had a place to shoulder because the things were fr freaking massive with all the soft armor yeah, no, in there. Absolutely. Whereas with this set up here, I can just freaking set my thing up. I'm good. I got everything set up just the way I need it, despite having this cool new M81 sling. Barrel concepts. Barrel concepts. Yep, slings there. Yeah. Yeah, well, you don't have magnifiers or unity, so joke's on you. Well, <laughs> and yet, rifle is fine. Is it though? Yes. <laughs> it is fine. Unless you watch the Grand Thumb video about how it goes into the mud test, then and yet, rifle is not fine. No, it was, oh, but it was doing so good in the cold, guys! It, it does. But I'm not living in the cold, so I'm gonna uh, have to you, worry did about Did you swap it. out your CLP for the cold weather CLP? <laughs> or are you riding your summer CLP in the winter? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, another thing about the pl oh, about plate carriers that you might not think about. Um, so your pla your back plate and what you can put on your back plate. So his has a opportunity. I'm gonna put this guy, put this gun down. Well, I've got the AVS a thousand pack. Right. So which is a newer modification I made because with the actual harness bearing the weight. Previously when I wore, wore the I was it the LBT sixty ninety four. 
the classic sort of like stylistic play carrier. Yeah. But the key issue is as much with your sandwich board thing, as soon as you throw in that camelback, your front plate is up in your neck yeah. and it's choking you out the entire time. You're like, man, I just wanted some water. It's yeah. hot out here. So, yeah, no, so for you, because he wears an because he wears a harness as opposed to me where I am only just sandwiched in here, right? Don't drop um, neck again. Oh, I swear. No, just, <laughs> I saw it. Yeah. I saw it. Jim. Wanted to. Wanted to. But you, you know, honestly, the reason why I completely forget that that there's a mag there is because because no, usually because I don't have a mag in there ever because <laughs> I usually already I right, usually yeah. got <laughs> already terrible bullet management. I am a completely believer in, uh, what's it called, accuracy by volume. Well, I was going to say fire superiority. That too. I have more <laughs> it makes bullets. you sound cool. I absolutely have more more bullets. Well, usually when you make contact, you want to dump the first mag anyway to establish fire superiority, oh, yeah. and then you're moving into your yeah, mound and everything. 100%. So, um, because he has a harness system, and I wish that I could do something like that. Uh, honestly, Anything's possible with money. <laughs> Except physical fitness. You gotta actually no, get yeah. One. And that's the biggest thing. Um, go run. Go train. Biggest thing. Go run and go train. Uh, because your, your gear, as much as I love this bike air, as much as I, I know you love your gear, it does not save your life when you cannot run. Yeah, right? if you need to get five miles away from your current location and you're winded after the first 200 feet, you're probably not going to make it. <laughs> you're going to die. You're going to die. Absolutely. Mm. Do you, you know, just ditch the carrier? It was so expensive. It's so ex expensive, just right? Just let me yeah. die in it. <laughs> no. So, biggest thing is to train in your train in your stuff, and that's what I do. I, I take a lot of pride in in, in this uh, in this plate carrier. Um, he where... doesn't know I'm taking him on a gas mask run later. <sighs> well, yeah, it's only good for you. Only good for you. Okay. Only good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the uh, Gentex mask and the. Well, I was just wearing my M50 earlier today. Oh, so. dear. Oh, Lord. But I've got my cool voice box on there. So. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, anyway, since we're supposed to actually be talking about the plate here, we've got a front bag. He's got the Evan Powers. He's got these, this built in here. It could be removed if he wants to, but it's going to take some He's got your standard things going on here. He doesn't have a PTT. He's got no comms going on just Not yet. yet. But he does have a radio pouch on the back side of there. Nice. So, despite the thing, the cover button does have three pieces of a. Uh, Three, uh, what was it, ladders of whatever, Molly. So he's got a three by three section here to sub all the school stuff. The back plate is doing pretty much general back plate things. It's kind of obfuscated by the flat pack, but the flat pack's here doing all of your standard cool flat back things. Now, this thing has been modified significantly, as you can see back here underneath the uh, cover button, kind of. It's all sorts of Velcro and stuff, so he's got crazy things going on to hold everything in place that we'll be exploring shortly when I make him take this flat pack off. Rear plate bag has a standard little, oh, that's not the flat plate bag at all. That's your freaking flat pack, what? So he has no freaking, uh, what should we call it? The uh, drag handle. No drag handle. No drag nope. handle going on. However, I'm pretty sure with the way this is set up, you could still establish a, uh, what should we call it? The, uh, cool guy freaking, uh, drag handle setup. Absolutely. With your little clip and everything. 100%. So. If you take off the plate carrier, what yeah. what does the interior look like? Sure. Now, the interior is absolutely something that I can wear with no shirt on at all. Like, I can justifiably not wear a shirt under this. This is completely comfy. Yeah, chafe your nipples. And, uh, no. <laughs> it's gonna happen. <laughs> no, yeah, honestly, I would, I would I definitely would it. not. I would not personally um, recommend that you... Uh, Run without no, uh, or run it without no, uh, without no undershirt. But me personally, it's really comfortable. Comfortable. It's like Kudura. It's like oh, Kudura fabric. It's like go commando. Yeah, I don't recommend it out here. No, in, in Okinawa, in the Pacific. But the, the mesh is gonna help out a lot. Mesh is pretty popular with I think the JPC 2.0. Sure. Particularly the uh, SPC I was running earlier was all mesh on the inside yeah. to make it a bit more comfortable. Yeah. Lightweight, shed weight, and solve all sure. that cool stuff. This so how easy, really, it, how easy is it for you to get out of that? It's pretty easy. Like, standard or like tearing it all apart? No, no, just standard. Like, if I wanted to take it off. Like, oh, I, just, I just showed the, the camera and the people that are watching this show. Yeah, it's two clips. I'm not going to get out. The radio's on the side. Radio's good. Pop that. Pop this guy. Where's my clip? I'm going to do the clip because I want to be cool. And shabam. Easy. Easy. Yeah. Now putting it on, how fast can you put it on? Oh, again? Just as quickly. Probably faster. Yeah. We all love on and off drills. 
all love on an off trail yeah, stone. I'm not going in the ocean anytime soon. <laughs> but you know what mine can do that you can't? Groin armor. Now if I if you for some odd reason if you are able to hit me in the dick, right? If you are able Fighters, to you don't shoot him, you, don't shoot him in the dick. If you have some <laughs> some <laughs> entity of superiority to shoot me in the dick. Good on you. Honestly, you you deserved it because <laughs> that is quite the that is quite the feat to shoot anyone in the in the groin, right? Well, don't know. I won't word it too much that way because someone's gonna be like, "Ha, ah, small target." Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> you yeah. set yourself sure. up. Sure. No. No. Honestly, like um, anybody anybody that actually does get shot in the groin, and I have been. I, I I've been shot in the groin like two or three With times. With less than lethal rounds. Two or three times. It is not fun. Hundred percent. Um, you know, these would would work. Yeah, you know, but. Uh, this system does have the ability to have like a uh, pouch that the Ornus Tactical does. Oh, you can uh, attach one in there? Yeah, you can. Yeah, okay, can. Yeah, mine's got the little mods for adding this to it. So anytime I need to up the armor for force on force, I just strap that in there and bam, I'm good to go. 100%. Yeah. Easy peasy. Yeah. So uh, we took out our, took an, took an hour for our, our play carriers just to show you uh, a little bit of the, the, the heat, right? The, the kind of like the. The heat map yeah, so on our on our body. Oh uh, yeah, the arms of mine is the contact point, but everything else gets decent ventilation. And the back, now that I've actually got a proper fitting harness, the spine's pretty clear, and just off on the sides a bit has a little bit of a uh, sweat going on. So, so it's something similar to me. Uh, obviously, you can't see really see. I, I wore this shirt specifically because you can see um, you darkness. Find light gray is the best darkness. one for a sweat. But you can see, I definitely see uh, some some sweat. Not really. In the front, good ventilation right. now, especially with the uh, with the way that that's stretchy uh, on our back. Um, I can't, can't see really see that at all. I'm sure it's there. You just can't. Uh, see yeah, it. no. Oh, obviously, I have a little bit of sweating here and there. You know, that's the biggest thing. I'm a sweaty guy. What you can do. Yeah. But no, honestly, um, from the first time that we did the video to, to now, um, and I know we ran on a lot of tangents, uh, but through and through, Orange Tactical. Is an artisan build. Uh, I, mean, I mean, these guys are handcraft artisan. These guys are quality. Um, get it, get it to you. You can get it off the. Uh, you don't have. You don't have to com commission them. You can literally go to the store. They have three. Uh, they have three locations. You uh, can go there and get one. They even have international shipping. So if you want to, hey, look, I'm interested in what what also has right. Uh, Cool thing is, is like let's say when I whenever I return and, and I cycle back to uh, or rotate back uh, to, the, to the United States, right? I'm still be running the same thing. Um, now I like to uh, add options, and the AVS is uh, a great uh, a great system and a harness, especially as I get older. Uh, I might look into something like that. But for right now, as a young guy, this Ordnance Tactical uh, is a great system. Um, it's up there. I love it. I uh, I would put it up there with. I I have worn the thorax. They have the strategic thorax. Oh, right. I have I have worn the. Uh, I've never tried those out before. I they're nice. They're great. I have worn the JPCs. I've worn the Pharaoh concepts, the slicksters, the the Pharaoh designs. Um, and honestly, I I have enjoyed my one of a kind. Uh, uh, one of a kind. Cobra. Cobra, and, and it, it's it's that Japanese very that. Like we all think about when we think about Japan, katanas are one of the most legendary weapons, right? Because of Japanese craftsmanship. Well, that translates to almost anything in what they do. Honestly, these he are doesn't know. And so <laughs> this this stuff. Uh, we're gonna tangent again. Yeah, no, this you this. Really uh, we're gonna tangent again. Well, this uh, plate carrier when I it's good quality. Um, if I for some reason were to rip it off or rip it up with some force on force, right? I take a, I take an actual round when I'm back in the states. I can I can send it back to to Okinawa, Japan, and they will repair it for free and ship it right back to me. And then now I have a brand new plate carrier, and that's the kind of customer service. I mean, I can message those guys and tell them exactly what I want, and whatever I want is what I get. So that's the biggest thing. So I love it. Orange tactical and. And what they've been able to do out here in Okinawa, they've been around for 20 years. Uh, a lot longer than I thought they'd been. Yeah, no, they've been sure. around for since uh, I was. You know, I was talking to the uh, to the uh, owner. 
uh, EJ. They they they've been around since around the the nineties. Uh, around the 90s, uh, a lot of what my senior <laughs> my senior enlisted guys started getting into the Marine Corps, um, and so guys like Call of Duty Rex, or, or the guy that is the body the body for uh, for Ghost in Call of Duty, uh, actually owned a play carrier oh, from Ordnance Tactical. Sure. Yeah, Alrighty. So this was this in, and this uh, company has been around for a very long time. Um, they have three branches, like I said, and uh, I mean, I mean, I, I really encourage you to go check them out uh, if you if you're really into wanting to get a, a great, great starter build, um, and for a good price. Um, these guys know exactly what they're doing, and they have they know exactly what they, what their product can do, and all of the stuff that they have um, is extremely uh, modifiable, and I. Cannot recommend Ordnance Tactical. All right, so one of the key things we left out on the first part of it, on the first video we did, was how this back thing attaches. So what you can see is we've got a really unique solution of a Velcro sort of like piece added in through here, and that adds in your little tablets here, so you can run the uh, what should we call it the uh, freaking the freaking cover run through. Then you've got your elastic for the adjustments there. So that's a unique setup. What he originally had was just those tabs going through there on both sides, but this adds in the Velcro sort of setup. So it helps uh, secure things a lot better and gives him an easy way to set up his uh, pack and everything on there. So, unique solution to that problem. I know with the uh, the SPC, it ran everything over the back end. And with like the JPCs and stuff too, they do that. Actually, where's my, uh, I got a good example here for you guys. Yeah, this guy right here. So, if we take our rear plate, if you're running it in more of the sand sandwich board setup, the way, um, Cry Precision does their stuff, is they've got these parts just built onto here. So his is basically an aftermarket setup to that solution, which of course you couldn't do this with his because it's mesh on the inside. So they've got to run it through the back like they're doing there. So that's one of the uh, key things to bear in mind if you're thinking about getting an Ordnance Cobra. However, the price is incredibly affordable and the quality is definitely good. Like, there's people out there buying Condor and AR500 right now. No. <laughs> for the price, for more than you would be spending on these. So. Uh, uh, the standard thing over at the BX or the PX, wherever, or whatever, or the Nex. The name depends, exchange. It, it depends on who you are, right? Um, or the H&M if you're Air Force. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> so, and death and beyond. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so these guys, uh, let's say you wanted to buy a Condor, right? That's gonna run you about four hundred, three hundred dollars once, Way once, once you're done. Yeah, and I'm me. And I'm immediately, a, immediately the stitching's gonna come apart. Yeah, it's all single stitch. I can't say that I own anything Condor anymore, just because most of it's gone into the trash. Yeah. <laughs> so this is single stitch too, but better quality for sure. I've, I've thrown almost all my Condor stuff into the trash. Where it belongs. And I can't believe that the Marine Corps and uh, the Army or the Air Force actually sells, allows that brand to be sold to their soldiers, airmen, and Marines at their stores. That's, it's, it's, you're essentially setting, setting, uh, <laughs> setting your service members yeah. up for failure. Which is ironic because the newest play carrier is made by First Spear, which is a really good top tier company. I, I've seen all the, uh, the PMO guys got their new black... Yeah, first beer play carrier. Very nice. On. That's quality. That was, that was good. Yeah. And then they're selling. Even though we don't like PMO, no one does. Well, if you don't break the law, you no, get along no with one. them pretty. Well. No one. No one likes PMO. I'm just kidding. This guy. Yeah. No, I uh, quite the, the the roadster. Not as bad as the uh, as the uh, scooter guys that are on the no, scooter I was games. Nerds. Would, that's a, that's a like tangent to, for another day. I would like day. to throw my plate carrier that's at those guys. That's another tangent mm -hmm. for another day. Mm -hmm. But pretty much, right? To finish up... Ugh. I've got a belt on and I'm winning! Same thing. He's, he's absolutely more experienced with this with this kit uh, more than I am. I do not run drills 
And, and you out of don't the have any pockets for Skittles like yeah, I do. Uh, no, actually, yes, I do. Oh, yeah, hey, look, it's full of charms. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want charms. I hear that the Tabasco sauce it's is back the back of the <laughs> For the viewers who are staying around long enough, the Tabasco oh sauce bottles are coming back. Oh my gosh, you saw that too. I saw that absolutely. <laughs> I was like, wow, like I was really can't happy. wait. And some people, some people, and I've seen it. I've seen, I've seen it. They're selling it on eBay. They, for they will money. put their Tabasco sauce inside of their mags. That's good. That's good war fighting. That's good war fighting. I mean, my my mags is full of dummy rounds back here. Oh, I didn't see this. You didn't see my dummy bag? Oh, I didn't yeah. see that. That's That's a full of dummy rounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah build. Recce build, force on force build. I should probably keep water in there, but... Oh, you can just keep LaCroix on there. Actually, that's what the, uh... You know, friggin' GP pouches are for LaCroix. Yeah. There we go. All right, so... Well, make sure you like and subscribe and just leave a comment to tell us how absolutely uninformed we are. So... I'm just kidding. Nah. Absolutely not. Nah. So, but please. They're going to anyway. Anyway, it, it is a sacrifice to the algorithm God, a God for which likes to ban shadow ban people that do tactical stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, the biggest thing. So, for legal reasons, this is all airsoft. Yes, I don't own. Everything's airsoft. I don't own an actual uh, firearm here in Japan because those are illegal. And when you go to the range, again, it's just uh, airsoft guns and rubber bangs. Most of the time you say, bang, 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 you don't actually shoot anything. Yeah, no. Um, yeah. <laughs> so make sure you guys get lots of exercise. Be training, be running, be yeah. dieting, be doing all your essential stuff. Because it is dangerous to be weak. Dad advice. Just finish it off. You watch too much Grand Thumb. Yeah, That's absolutely. my key takeaway. You need to dad watch less is, and thumb. Dad do more pull -ups. advice is extremely important. The biggest dad advice that I can give you is to know your information, uh, know what you're getting yourself into, know the uh, gear that you wear, know the rifle that you fire, uh, and get out there and train. Yeah. So. It's better to own one really good gun than ten garbage guns. That's exactly. That's my advice. Well, yeah, I, I'm trying to tell that to my wife, and she's like. Okay, well, it doesn't need to be an AK. I'm just like, okay, well, I'm gonna get an AK anyway. Yeah, so. so my question to you is, where's your medical? My biggest all your medical, medical stuff. No, mm -hmm. where's all, all right. medical gear? So my medical gear actually is carried on my belt, just kind of like, uh, kind of like where you have it. I also have all my medical gear in the, my uh, flat pack. So uh, I carry my medical gear for other people. Um, while I have mainly all my, yeah, I'm looking to do something exactly like that. I want to do something like exactly like that. That's the way to do it. It's like that's that's for me, <laughs> and then the rest of the rest of the medical gear I can carry it all in this flat pack, and it'll be more than enough. So yeah, so train, get in shape, train in your gear if you have gear. If you have a plate carrier, be able to move in it. Exercise and get in as much time as you can. One of the key benefits to airsoft is that if you're actually moving and shooting at moving thinking targets for simulated combat, then you're also finding all of your shortfalls and issues with your gear yeah. at that time instead of during the real thing when it's too late. Absolutely. So. That is the most biggest. Uh, that's where I think gun guys and administrative results kind of really put it in, in his newest uh, video. Uh, gun guy, I, think, I also do believe that gun guys should get into airsoft. Um, and I, and yeah, I was so saying, there was a big discussion actually on one of the uh, police forums I was following. Yeah. Interestingly it's, enough, we were talking about there's a lot of officers who don't want to do force on force because they don't want to get hit by sim rounds or anything. Yeah, no, that hurts. <laughs> yeah, it sucks, but that's the thing. It's pa it's painful learning. You're gonna yeah. learn from it. Well, pain to... retains, right? Yeah, pain exactly. Freaking retains. So make sure you're getting. If you're not, if you gotta get force on force, if you're just shooting paper targets day in day out. Paper target one isn't thinking, and two isn't trying to outshoot you. You're gonna so. win every time. You're Unless you really suck, then you're going to draw, but you're not necessarily going to lose. <laughs> but if you're shooting at other people, unless they're doing that cheeky turkey thief thing, you know, dodging the bullets and all that nerd stuff. Eh, but even just airsoft wise, get all your buddies, get 
airsoft equipment similar to what you're running realistically. You don't need to, yeah, you don't need to go crazy. And yeah, and then you can get all your practice in from there. Yep. And most importantly, you're having fun with friends. Biggest thing. Doesn't I... work out. Doesn't work out so much in open airsoft games because you're gonna get a lot of those turkey peaker, turkey peaker speed softers. Yeah. But if you have a private game with a bunch of buddies, you're gonna have a good time. The biggest thing is that gun culture 2.0. Take a little big thing apart. Is that this is fun. I enjoy this. I enjoy doing that. I enjoy being here. Yep. Thank you for having me. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I, 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 I've been wanting to take a look at Origin stuff for years, <laughs> and then you actually had a play here. I was like, oh, hey, what do you know? We can actually take a look at that. Absolutely. Let people know it exists. Sure. So where is Origin Tactical originally? It exists outside of, like, was it, um, freaking Nago area? Yeah, uh, between Nago. Between Hanson and Schwabish. Yep. That's now where their original one was, yeah. and now they've expanded. They've Genosa, got one. Hanson? Yeah. All right, yeah, Genosa, right side of Hanson and Kin, and in the chip in Chiton, right in, over in AB. American yeah, Village. the American Village one actually didn't take long to find at all. No, no, no. So if you want to pop in and say hi to them, look at some of their Set, unique tell, solutions. Yeah, tell them Oso sent you. Or the Good Sir Knight. And they are the Good Sir Knight, and they will probably give you a bow and say, oh, thank you. Yeah. And I'll, um, I'll probably drop a freaking link down below yeah. to at least their American Village location. So if you guys want to look that up on the maps, if you're already in Okinawa, which a few people who watch this channel are, then you can go check out these guys, see if you like their stuff, or see if you're going to stick with the uh, really expensive Gucci gear. Train. Ultimately, ultimately train, yeah. Train. Train, your, train in, your, in your craft gear, but not Condor. Not Condor, no. No. I wouldn't even run steel plates in Condor, just for fitness. <laughs> the steel plates will cut right through the Condor. They will. I've seen it, actually. <laughs> yeah. So. So, yeah, train. All right. No, don't die of dehydration. Hydration is very important out here. Which is the, one of the re big reasons I moved from the uh, little, what is it, uh, back rear plate bag to this AVS-1000 is to have the hydration. Because if you're in armor, especially in unpleasant environments, you need water. Sure. It's, it's not yeah, a lot, it's a need. Here. As soon as you're, <laughs> as if you're losing focus and concentration from dehydration, you've already lost. Yeah, 100%. I would say, what was it, someone that says it's like 90% of the time you're more likely to die to the environment than the enemy. So... 100%. The enemy doesn't want to doesn't want to shoot at you either. Also. Yeah, the village of the enemy is dehydrated too. Yeah. They don't want to do anything, sure anything either. Do yeah, everyone's just miserable. Yep. All right. But yeah, the big thing the big thing I'll kill you is a is a first is a lieutenant with a compass. So. Yeah, so that's all I got. So um, cheers, stay silvers, do all the cool stuff. If you have any questions about this play carrier, feel free to ask me down below. I will reach out to Oso here and probably get you an answer. Sure. And yeah, yeah, uh, let's like and subscribe. Let's get ready for all that hate mail. <laughs> what's the what's the, what's a proper way of of saying uh, goodbye in in uh, in Japanese? Oh, usually if it's like YouTube, they go, "Hey everyone, thanks for watching." Uh, thanks for watching. Arigato. Kyo no video miru no de arigato gozaimashita. Alright, he's gone. <laughs> Admins are asleep. Post nudes. Alright, no, no, seriously, guys. Uh, cheers, stay chill for us, and uh, do cool things. My battery is gonna die. I'm gonna go get more LaCroix. Peace!